everyone, welcome back to Royalty Soaps. I am so self-conscious having my hair down. I never wear my hair down in intros and outros. I don't know, I'm just gonna stop thinking about it now. Today we're going to be making a slightly simpler soap. I talk about that in the video. It's not my most pizzazzful, glitterful soap I've ever made, okay? It's calm, it's elegant, it's understated beauty, you know what I'm saying? I won't belabor the point. Without further ado, let's make some soap. Okay guys, the first thing I have to do is blend up my Lye Water Solution because I've added a little bit of titanium dioxide to it and it needs to get incorporated. Okay, so let us pour off some soap batter. I'm gonna do one white pitcher. All right, and then I'm going to split the rest of the batter into two equal portions. We're gonna use this to kind of swirl in our mold. We're not gonna do it in the pot swirl. We're just gonna do some kind of like a zigzaggy all over the place swirl in the mold itself. And because we're not coming back to the container, I've got to scrapey scrapey my large containy. All right, let's talk about coloring these two containers. Now, I've already added the fragrance oil. The fragrance I'm using today is called Farmhouse Cider. It's from Wholesale Supplies Plus. It is the perfect blend of like an apple cider, cinnamon, some brown sugar. It's absolutely perfect. I've never found a cider smell that I like more. And then I'm adding some Aztec Gold or Goldfinger Mica. So Aztec Gold is from TKB Trading. Goldfinger is from Mad Micas. They both look exactly exactly the same in soap, so if you have a preferred supplier, that, th those are the proper names. <laughs> and then next up we have New Leaf Green. This is from Mad Micas. It is an apple green, which I thought would be perfect for apple cider. I felt like it paired really well with that gold. Kind of has the same look as my Caramel Crimson Pear Soap from a few years ago that has both the green and the gold. All right, and we'll go ahead and just blend these up real quick. All right, I let these sit for a little while, so they're a lot thicker now. I think it's the perfect time to pour, and we'll get this into our slab mold after this quick commercial break. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start with our tan color. We're gonna go in with our green. Again, it kind of has a caramel apple look to it. Though I must say, the fragrance itself is actually, well, it's just actually a little bit more fresh smelling, I would say. I don't want you to look at this and think, oh, that's gonna smell super sugary, because it actually doesn't. A little more taut smelling a little more flavorful apple. Okay, it's very important that I go ahead and scrape out these containers because I'm not going to use them again. The top is going to be this sort of a creamy light honey color. So this is kind of my only chance to get it all in the mold. So before I move on, I'm going to take a spoon here and I'm going to very gently texture it. Not a ton because my next layer is thin and I don't want the ridges on this texture to be so extreme that the white can't cover it completely. In fact, because this isn't the top, any areas that I feel are taller than other areas. I'm just gonna kind of smooth those down. That looks super good. And now for the mica line, or the cocoa powder line, as it were. It's not actually mica today. Cocoa powder just gives such a nice line for a soap. It really does. It's better than using an oxide. It's easier to clean up, and it's super inexpensive. So this is organic cocoa powder. I got it off of Amazon. I'll link it down below. And just so you guys know, I am trying to link all the things that I'm using and talking about uh, more often down below in the description box. Apparently a lot of people have really missed seeing that, so I'm trying to get better at remembering to put every single thing down there. Some of them will be using reward style links. Um, some of them won't. Just depends on if I'm an affiliate for the place or if they even 
have an affiliate program, um, but regardless of affiliate status or not, I do try to link everything that I'm talking about in case you guys want to use it for your own soap or if you like the shirt that I'm wearing or whatever. So this next part I have to do rather quick, which is putting the top on the soap and then tapping it down so I can get it as flat as possible. I do have an embed going on top of this and I want that embed to be like front and center stage. I don't think I'm gonna texture anything. It's gonna be nice and flat. Yeah, I think it's gonna look super good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put my divider on here. Kinda let me know where everything is. And now I will put on the embed. So we have these little acorns we're gonna put on top. This was one of everybody's like, ooh, we're off to a rough start here. Um, <laughs> the acorn embed was one of everybody's favorite embeds last year, so I thought I would for sure bring it back this year. I will let you know though, this is an exceptionally hard embed to do because it's flat and because the soap itself is so far away from my fingers. So I'm basically having to drop it. Okay, now I'm gonna turn it to the side so I can make sure that all of the embeds are exactly where they're supposed to be. It's such a thin sliver. I don't know if you know it, but it's an inch thick. So I only have an inch <laughs> to get everything right. Though admittedly, it's always a little easier once I turn it to the side. I hope you guys are having a lovely October. October is just one of my favorite months. No! No, come back here. See, I was trying to make this design as flat as possible on top, which is why I let it set up a little bit because I didn't want the acorn to be making an indentation. There's also no glitter on top of this soap. I wanted to make sure that the acorn really, really stood out by itself and that I wasn't relying on glitter to sort of pull everything together. I do love glitter, of course. I mean, hello, the whole Girl World collection, but sometimes it's nice to opt for some more simplicity with your soap designs and that's what I'm trying to do with this one. Now, I thought we would have a talk today about content on the Royalty Soaps channel because most of the time, like once a year, I will come in and check in with you guys and see if you have any content suggestions, mainly because I wanna make sure that I'm making videos you actually enjoy. Obviously, Royalty Soaps is a soap making channel, so I'm never gonna stop making soaps, but if there are other things that you guys would like to see, let me know. This year, I tried to do a home renovation series for Holiday House, but you guys didn't actually like that very much. It didn't get a lot of views. There wasn't a lot of interest there. So now I know, okay, home decor and home renos, not really their thing. But if there's something else that you'd like to see me do, even within soap, like, hey, I'd like to see you do more tutorials, or I'd like to see you do more reaction videos, let me know. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this real quick. All right, now I'm going to very carefully just place the rest of these acorns right into the middle. I'm gonna try to stagger some little ones and big ones. Shelly and I had to try lots of different browns to get this perfect like acorn nutty color. Anyway, yes, content for videos. So every month I make a new collection of six soap designs and I upload those videos to YouTube. But I feel like you guys enjoy seeing craft videos and like candle videos, DIY videos, unboxing videos and all of that a lot more because I can see analytics and because I can look at view trends. So the view trends on my regular soap making videos like I'm doing right now are headed down. It seems like people are generally losing interest in this sort of content. Maybe it's because I've been doing this for years. They wanna see something new. But regardless, I'd like to know if you're an an OG viewer or you just got here, uh, what other sort of content you might like to see. All of my soap maker reaction videos, I think a lot of people are typically interested in. Like I said, craft videos, uh, Lily videos, all those tend to do a little bit better. And I am trying to tailor my content for 2022 to be more focused on YouTube and entertainment and less on making a soap video for every single soap in the collection. I used to do that because that's what people we're most interested in, but that's not the case anymore. So I want to grow, I want to progress, I want to change, 
and I basically I want your help. All of my little acorns are in, so let's spritz that with rubbing alcohol. Spritz, 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 spritz. And that is it. We are done with the acorn apple cider cold process artisan soap. Ah, it looks so good. Okay, let me bring you in for a close up. All right, guys, this is what it looks like on top. And I know, I know it's a little bit plain, but is it plain or is it just like elegant simplicity? You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm feeling the elegant simplicity. I can't wait to cut it up. We'll do that in 18 to 24 hours after this Kowit commercial break. You guys, look at the coloration on the top of this acorn soap. Well, actually, look at it whenever the uh, camera focuses. Okay, now look at it. <laughs> it turned out perfect. It's like a creamy apple cider color, which is exactly what I wanted it to look like. Looks like a baked good. Um, I'm gonna cut this real quick. Yay, everything was placed correctly. Take off those sample bars at the end. Pull one out from the middle. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So you see, we've got that nice cocoa powder, mica line. It's very similar to the same color as the little acorn on top. You've got that sort of apple pie, light green mixed with caramel and the fragrance, spectacular. It's so, so accurate. And again, I know this is a little bit simpler than some of my other bars, but sometimes there really is beauty and simplicity. This does very much have like a fernwood cottage feel to it. I'm, I'm in love. So question of the day as I continue to remove these and get them ready for the curing room. Apple cider or hot tea. Are you a tea drinker? A cider drinker? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm both. Sometimes I'll opt for tea because I can sweeten it a little bit with stevia. Whereas when you have apple cider, I don't know, maybe there's a recipe out there for apple cider sweetened with stevia, but it kind of has a lot of sugar in it. And most of the time, whenever I'm consuming sugar, I try not to drink it because I feel like I appreciate it a lot less than eating like a candy bar or something like that. So that's my vote, but I want to know yours down below. <laughs> know how to talk. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Leave us a comment down below. By the way, when we hit a million subscribers, the thing that I want to do is like make a whole bunch of fan designs. I want y'all to know that I do keep the fan designs. They are all organized in binders in my house, in my office. It's just big, fat binders full of beautiful designs that you guys have sent into the P.O. Box. My grandmother actually organizes all of them. So whenever they come in, she puts them all together and is like, hey, do you have to respond to this person? It's, she's so sweet. It's great. Whenever we hit a million, that's what I want to do is like just make a slew of fan designs. And I'm picking out some of my favorites as we go along. Why am I talking about this? I don't know, but... <laughs> Apparently, I just needed to tell y'all that. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram if you want to see me other places. If you don't, then don't. <laughs> Be sure you do something fun for yourself today, whether that is picking up some acorns and decorating your home with them, or settling down with a warm beverage like an apple cider and uh, watching a good movie. I don't really care what you do. Just be sure you do something fun for yourself and I'll see you guys in the next video. So until then, bye for now. Meow.